Good morning. It's like 6.45. Normally I wake up at 6 and start moving, but I was so cold last night. I slept with my puffy on. I had my hoods, both of my hoods up, and uh, I was as tucked in into my sleeping bag as I could. I had the little flap over my face. I had this like buff thing around my face, um, but I was just so cold. And then I'm on a slight slant, but like kind of the wrong way. And so I just couldn't get comfortable, and I was just freezing, and I couldn't get comfortable. And even now, my face is cold, but the sun is starting to come up, so I figured, you know, I'll start getting up now. Once I start moving around, I'll warm up a little bit, and hopefully as the sun comes up more, it'll warm up more. But, uh, yeah, I didn't sleep very good, so that sucks. But today's another 16-mile day, and my ankles are still feeling sore, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> All right. Good morning. It's like nine o'clock. Had a very late start again this morning. I just, it was so cold last night. It actually kept me awake a lot. I wasn't like completely freezing, but I was very cold and I kept tossing and turning. And, uh, but the sun is out today, which is nice. So hopefully it'll be a little bit warmer, but it is still really cold right now. Normally we say start bold, start cold. Um, but today I think I'm just gonna wait until I get hot and then take off my puffy. Um, yeah, there was like a boys group here last night. I forgot what they called it, um, so I'm sorry. But basically, it's a volunteer thing where young men between the ages of 18 and 25, um, go to this like place for eight months or whatever, and it's like not rehabilitation, because I asked them if it was mandatory, and they said no, it was a volunteer thing. Um, but they just become better young men, I guess, and part of their curriculum is to come out here and do a section hike. So there was a group of young men here last night, and they left, <laughs> they called it trail magic, but they left a bunch of uh, food and stuff in the uh, shelter. So I went in there this morning and grabbed up as much as I could take cool breeze was nice enough to take some off my hands um but uh yeah so I'm carrying extra food right now but that's okay maybe I can share with some people down the road um but yeah it's a beautiful morning I'm cold so hopefully I can warm up here pretty quick and I'm getting out of breath because I'm going uphill <laughs> so even a month in and I still start to pant, you know, I breathe heavy, so, oh man, oh, and, uh, so I did 16 miles yesterday, and my ankles, uh, and feet started to, like, give out at mile, like, 11, and then I still had to hike the rest of the way, and, like, right at mile 11, a freaking, like, rock scramble, like, there was just so many rocks, like big rocks, small rocks, up on this ridge. And uh, it would have been more fun if my feet and ankles weren't already sore. Uh, today, the goal is to do 15 and a half miles. Um, I have an ankle brace on my left foot right now because she hurts. So we will see how today goes. I'm gonna take it slow. I got into camp yesterday at 4.30, um, even with all the breaks I took, and like, even when I was going slow, so I figured 15 and a half miles, starting an hour later than I normally do, but I should be okay, so, alright, I'll talk to you guys later.
Hey, Emily, this one's for you. So remember when we were hiking and we passed the group of kids that said, uh, good luck going up Big Butt Mountain? Well, here is the Big Butt Bypass. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's a blue blaze, so I will not be going directly up it. Um, cool Breeze just passed by and he said that the blue trails actually what takes you to the top of it, but the AT goes that way. So... I'm going to follow the, uh, the AT, but I just wanted to give uh, Stretch a shout out and let her know that Big Butt Mountain is a real thing. So, yeah. Okay. Bye. Hey, Emily, I'm on top of Big Butt Mountain, so I just wanted to show you. Oh, yeah. Big There's actually not as many views up here. It's not quite tall enough. Green Ridge Trail looks pretty underused. There's the next yellow blaze. And I think the next one, ah, back there. Um, but yeah, <laughs> it's like nothing except the AT. Like there's no footpath to the Green Ridge Trail at all. But then the AT is completely worn in. wanted to check in. So yesterday I started to develop a pain in my left ankle area. Kind of like a shin splint almost, um, but lower. And I could feel it all night. And uh, I feel it with every single step right now. So I'm going really slow today, which is a bummer because the trail is like so smooth and like so flat so far. A little bit of a climb to Big Butt, but then it's been nothing but smooth since. But I'm actually in quite a bit of pain. It's not like debilitating, um, but it hurts. So I'm trying to go slow and I'm trying not to think about it uh, or my growling stomach. I'll probably have a snack here in a minute. Uh, but yeah, that's what I'm thinking about right now. It's a quiet day, so talk to you guys later. Bye. Hello. So I just stopped for lunch at the last shelter, um, and while I was there, a woman gave me some KT tape for my ankle, and so far I can't tell if it's really helping or hindering or if it feels the same, but my mood is definitely dampened by this Pain. This is the first day on trail that I've had like a legitimate pain all day, not just like, you know, feet and ankles getting tired towards the end of the day. This is like pain all day long. <laughs> and uh, I was hoping it wouldn't happen to me, but it did. So here I am. But even though my mood is dampened by the pain, I am grateful that it is sunny and I'm grateful that it is dry um, and that it's not too hot. But yes, my pace is incredibly slow. The trail today is like not even that bad at all. And I wish I could just be flying down it, but <laughs> it's so painful. <laughs> so I'm just gonna keep chugging along. Hopefully I can make it to the shelter that I wanna camp at tonight um, by 5 p.m. So we'll see. Talk to you guys later, bye. Hello. Oh my gosh. 
I would love a slice of pizza. Well, come on over. There's, there's five left. Okay, thank you very much. I'm going to drop my pack. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. She did a great job. Oh, yeah? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hi. Thank you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> There's little tomatoes underneath there. Yeah. Little yeah. Pizza, you want to do Thank you. There's even plates around Wow. That's all right. I'll just hold it. Thank you. Wow. Thank you guys. <laughs> oh, okay. I can empty my trash? Well, I, I might. There's drinks and um, all kinds of drinks. Beer, soda, water, tea. <laughs> Thank you. so much, I'm probably going to explode <laughs> on the trail. It's so beautiful right here. Mm -hmm. I know it is. First cookie's free. Any cookie after that. You pay two bucks. But boy, what a nice thing <laughs> to get water. And oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Get rid of your garbage. When you drink, you get a drink. No, not yet. Beer, soda, teas, Ooh. waters, and tea. Coffee! Yes. You have coffee! Okay. Thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh. can't even believe how the trail and the people are so amazing. So today I've been in a lot of pain. I still am. So I had just put in some music, which I don't normally do during the day, just so I didn't have to think about my pain. But I get down to the fork, the, the gap, and um, there was some freaking trail magic because apparently one of the hikers had a friend that lives in the area and she wanted to come bring him stuff. So she had pizza and like cookies and snacks and fresh fruit, fresh veggies and a trash bag to take our trash. So I just walked down and like the weather is so nice today and it was in this beautiful like grassy meadow area with yellow flowers. And so I was able to, you know, oh and she had like canned coffee, which I love coffee so I had two of them. So now I'm probably going to be a little bit hyper because usually I have very little caffeine on trail. Um, but yeah, it's just amazing. It was like the perfect pick-me-up, you know, after like just kind of sulking in my own head most like, well, actually all day until now. So yeah, I just, I'm blown away by people's kindness again. And I'm very grateful that I had some unexpected trail magic yet again. And <laughs> I feel full <laughs> and refreshed with energy. Um, leg still hurts, but I will continue to take it slow. And I just passed a sign that said that the shelter is still six miles away. So that would put me at getting at the shelter by 6 p.m. So, but it's a clear day, so I'll have plenty of sunlight to put up my tent. But uh, yeah, I just, I wasn't really smiling much this morning and now I'm smiling again, so. I'm just very happy and grateful. There's always something to be grateful for.
you guys. I just wanted to show you how green it was here. Like, this is one of the most beautiful parts of trail I've seen so far. And, um, my pictures and video cannot do it justice. Like, you can only fully appreciate it here in person. But I'll try my best to show you. We are at the Hog something? Hogback Ridge Shelter.